Hello, my name is Jasmine McDonald. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit that subscribe button because you're already here anyways. If you are familiar with my channel, you know I've been posting some helpful technique tips for ballet. So this is gonna be part of that playlist and I'll put a link in the description box as well as a link up here right now for that playlist if you wanna check out some more technique tips. Today's tip is going to be on Hops on Point, one of my lovely subscribers asked specifically to see tips for hops on point. So I'll be sharing with you three key exercises that you can use to improve your hops on point. Beforehand, make sure that you are familiar with point shoes and that you are starting point. And if you are not starting point, why don't you go ahead to the link in my description down below. It'll send you to some free point work today. So obviously you need point shoes for this part. If you do not have point shoes, again, link in the description, there will be other technique tips for that. And let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see next, whether it's point shoes or not point shoes. Let's get started. So for today, always make sure that you're warm before for starting and that you have some supervision and your teacher is around and if they can't be around that your teacher knows that you're practicing at home. First things first, when you are on your point shoes, you wanna make sure that you're one tall line from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. Cops on point, if you're not familiar with cops on point, they are the hardest things in ballet because they sound like they are. You are literally hopping on your toe. If that hasn't clicked yet, let me say it again. You're hopping on your toe. Usually in point shoes, you're turning on your toe, you're standing on your toe. This one, you are driving your toe into the ground. So you wanna make sure that your toes are padded. For me personally, I like to wear the Bun Heads toe pads or the Grishko toe pads. Those are really cushiony for me. And I also have a toe spacer in one of my feet that has a huge bunion. The first things first, always start at the bar. Let's start in first position on point on both feet. For the first exercise, all you're gonna do is plie a little bit while you're on point and what you want to do is try to keep your arches exactly where they are if you are like me and you have archy feet you have to pull back a little bit otherwise you're going to be way over your point shoe and over your box you have to pull back a little bit that goes as well if you have really really dead shoes so i would say the first thing you have to start out with is just in first position on two feet finding that plie and stretch keeping your arch exactly where it is as if somebody's holding it there and try to do that eight times to build up strength. Add another two every single day and every single time you're practicing it. If this is too difficult, take it parallel in sixth position facing the bar. The same thing, just bending and stretching, trying to keep your arches exactly where they are. You don't want to go over your box and you don't want to go too far back. Otherwise you're going to slide off your points. Second exercise, if that's too easy in first position, go right ahead from fifth position with one foot in front, one hand on the bar or two hands on the bar, and you're gonna switch feet. So you're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna plie and bend on one leg and stretch, and I'm gonna plie and bend on the front leg and keep going. You wanna do that also about eight times to really strengthen your arches and your ankles. This one's really tricky to only do this if you feel advanced enough and that you have finished the two feet one by yourself, the bar and without. Last and final exercise I'm going to show you right before you go into hops on point because obviously it's the hardest thing to do in ballet because you're literally again hopping on your toe. Start at the bar, start in fifth position, take a coupe back and you're just going to plie and stretch and keep going on one foot, plie and stretch on one foot. So you want to do that on both feet, make sure that your arches are equally strong and then you're ready to start in the center with that crunched position. Now, bonus tip, if you have done all those three exercises, it's super easy, you're ready to go into the center or you're ready to graduate to a new exercise at bar, what I would recommend is doing those little Aurora, you know, or Princess Aurora in her variation at the end. She does these little slides, coupe, through. Do those across the bar with one hand on the bar and then try to do it in the center by yourself. Make sure that you're strong enough. So you take a coupe, plie, step up. And you keep doing that over and over again until you're strong enough. Again, please make sure that you're warm beforehand, that your ankles are healthy, your shoes fit really nicely. These are way too dead, so I would highly recommend not wearing shoes as dead as these are, but they're all I have in this apartment at the moment. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if this helped. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care and bye now.